I, the role of the general manager is played out. I, do, I don't want to do it because it, it, it's, been on, it's been going on for 20 years. And, and, and whether you're, you know, the hero general manager or, you know, the villain general manager, it's enough. I, I, I don't know how many people really turn on WWE or any form of sports entertainment to see how a match is made. The show has become too much of here's the story behind the show that you're watching. And I think sometimes people just want to see the show. I think people just want to understand who the characters are and see the characters pitted against each other in compelling situations or riveting storylines that have nothing to do with the corporate structure that orders the match because the general manager needs to sign the contract. It, it, it's too much. Again, it, 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 it's, it, it's going back to, it goes back to simplicity. It goes back to, well, we've never seen Brock Lesnar lose to one, to, to one move. Wow, so wouldn't it be shocking if you did? And it goes back to that. Well, why do I have to know why Kevin Owens is going to get signed for a match against Sami Zayn? Why can't I just be told it's Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, and I sit there and go, wow, that ought to be a really good match, and I am intrigued enough to see it. So the role of a general manager to me played out. Um, the way that I like to write things is very long term. I want to know where I'm going. I, I, I've never written the first page of a story and then figured it out along the way. I always write the end first. It's, how I, it's just my training. I've, and it's just the way that I see things. Here's the finish. Here's what we're going to do next year at WrestleMania. Here's how we close WrestleMania. Now here's how we get there.